Can spirulina be used as a joint health supplement? Would it be smart to take this if you have problems like arthritis, bone on bone joints, cartilage damage, disc injuries in your spine, and meniscus injuries? In this video, I'll teach you all about spirulina so that you can know if it's the right thing to take for your health. So what is spirulina? It is one of the most nutrient dense superfoods on the planet. It's got a huge list of vitamins and minerals. I don't want to miss one, and I probably am, but I'm going to read them off to you here. We've got vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, B5, B6, vitamin B9, B12, vitamin C, vitamin D and E, vitamin K. It's got calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and zinc. It really is like the all-natural Centrum multivitamin. And where does this come from? It is a blue-green algae, also known as a phytoplankton here. In some sources, they call it a bacteria as well. All you need to know is that it grows in both salt water and fresh water, and it's been used in ancient times. We have recorded history, especially by Aztecs as a superfood, to gain more energy and overall health. In, in this current day, it's even used by astronauts in space. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. It's known to be an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So this is where I think it's especially beneficial as a joint supplement, as something to use to keep your cartilage, your ligaments, and other parts of your joints healthy for the long term. And in addition to that, it's been shown to help with cancer, with lowering blood cholesterol and triglycerides, also lowering your blood glucose or your blood sugar levels, reducing blood pressure. It can help with anemia and it's even been shown to help with seasonal allergies, like the type of stuff that people suffer from depending on that time of the year. Now the side effects, and there really aren't many, it's really just potential side effects are if you're taking blood thinners, you should consult with your doctor. I highly doubt they're gonna tell you not to take this, but do your due diligence and check with your doctor. Also, if you're nursing or pregnant currently, you should check with your doctor as well. They're probably not gonna tell you no, but be safe, you got a baby. And of course, as with any supplement or even any food that you're eating, you should stop taking this immediately if you feel any sort of reaction, if you're having a skin reaction or if you have any stomach problems related to it, which is probably next to never going to happen. You should be careful with kids around this and not because it's not healthy for them. It actually doesn't say that kids can't take this. You just gotta be careful that kids don't choke on the pills. This is a choking hazard for children. Now let me give you my honest opinion about Solgar's spirulina supplements. Now I love Solgar as a company just because they've been around for a long time. They kind of know how to do it. They've been around for over 75 years. They put all their supplements in these glass amber bottles. The amber helps to reduce the light going in to preserve the supplements. And the glass, of course, is just way better to use than plastic as containers for most vitamins and supplements are made from plastic and we all know that plastic leaches things off that are cancer causing agents. So glass all the way if you can. And Solgar goes the extra step to make their products as hypoallergenic as possible, meaning you're likely going to never experience allergies because of this. This is kosher. And let me read you the rest here. It's gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, yeast-free, sugar-free. It doesn't have any artificial flavors, no sweeteners, and it doesn't have any colors added to this. The capsules are made from vegetables. You can see them right there. So they're highly digestible. Um, they're not going to cause allergy problems. And what I especially like about this spirulina product itself, not just by, from Solgar, but spirulina itself is recommended by NASA to use on astronauts in outer space. Now that's a big deal. What you need to know is that medications tend to be pushed by doctors and rightfully so because they can help patients out with certain conditions. And doctors are specialists in medications, so they go to school to become MDs. MD is short for doctor of medicine. That's their title. They are specialists of medication. So when they're in school, they're studying all the research and all the books that are focused on diseases and how to treat them with medications. And of course, medications have lots of research behind them because they're pushed by pharmaceutical companies and rightfully so. Pharmaceutical companies are trying to make their business and it's their due diligence to put research out or, or influence research out there so that they can show the benefits of their medications. That's what any business should do is 
go out there and market the, the, the usefulness of their product. But the fact is that spirulina is a natural thing. It's not made by a pharmaceutical company. So it just doesn't have very much research behind it. It doesn't have very much financial backing to do research, but it is a superfood. You should be taking this to improve your overall health. And it, it, this should be used in combination with other supplements to help your joint health. And in addition to a bigger plan involving exercise, which we go into in depth on this channel with how to fix things like joint arthritis, other cartilage injuries, and much, much more. But if NASA deems this important for astronauts, I think it's pretty important for us to use here on Earth for our own benefits. The downside to taking spirulina is next to nothing. It's extremely affordable relative to medications and the health benefits are through the roof. The upside to taking this supplement is truly greater than we know. So how to use this? All you do is you take four capsules a day with a meal. So there's four capsules. And just to show you the, the, the color of these are kind of bluish green and they're not the smallest. You can see them there in the palm of my hand and you would take this with a meal once a day there are 250 vegetable capsules in there you can see that right there so that makes for about 60 days 62 days of supplements so if you're going to test this for your overall joint health if you're dealing with arthritis or some disc injury in your spine um, i would recommend taking this for at least two months so one of these bottles should be enough for you to take it for two months. Now, if you wanna get the specific brand by Solgar, there's a link in the description below. And I need to let you know that Solgar has not paid me to do any of this. I have, I'm just doing this because I like their products. I got it from Amazon. There's a link to buy this from Amazon in the description below. And in case you wanna learn more about dealing with an arthritis problem or some other joint related problem, there's other links to helpful videos that we have here on our channel in the description below. We help people avoid surgery, injections, and pain medications. We make helpful videos with tips, advice, exercises, and stretches, and much, much more for a variety of conditions. So go check that out here on our channel. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. Share this with somebody that you think needs to learn about spirulina. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.